Hi, this is Tom Blodgett from Genda Industries, and today uh, I'm going to walk you through sharpening the Maestro U G5 butchering knife, uh, fish knife. It's a Taiwanese style fish knife. It's curved. Essentially, what they do is they get in there, they hammer it in here to the big fish, and then they roll it through. So it's not just like a slice this way. They do, of course, but a lot of times they'll put it in and just roll it up. Uh, that's why this shape. Obviously, this large curve presents a little bit of a technical challenge. We'll uh, put it on the belt first and then we'll use it on stones. This is for a customer, so we're, we're going to sharpen it on the stones after we do the initial shaping on the, on the grinder. So the angle we're going to use is not going to be so low. Uh, in previous videos, we're about this high off the ground, but because we have such a wide blade here, this is about almost five and change inches, that the further we get away from our zero point, the angle has to increase. So if you think of it as a baseball diamond, Home plate is the point of zero, but the left and right uh, field foul lines are way apart from each other in the whole center field in the middle. So essentially here, this would be way low. So we have to come up more like this, which is gonna be about 15, 20 degrees. So to measure that, we've got our angle cube, our uh, IP65 plug here, IP65 waterproof. Check out the video on that. I'll put a link right there on the, uh, up here. You should be able to click on that. We zeroed it out already. So this is where we were showing that first low angle here. So it's about the thickness of my finger here. It's about maybe a half an inch, and that's about seven degrees. So if we go up more like two inches, that'll be about 20 degrees, 23. We're not gonna go that high. We're gonna be more about here. It should be about, what, 15, 16, uh, 18, okay? So uh, we're gonna be in this zone here. I'm gonna be a little lower because I can come back on my stones and always raise the angle later to reinforce it, but it's better to be a little thinner in the beginning. So that burred up really quick on this. Now we take it to the stones and walk through a progression there. Uh, customer wants us at 10K, so we're gonna do it at 10K. So we'll start with a 600 grit stone, uh, walk through a 600, a 1K, a 3K, and a 10K progression. Actually, there is a little bit of technique before we do the montage. Uh, a lot of guys will come forward and do sections of a knife and work their way down. Uh, I don't on this, I generally just do one sweep, but again, I keep the angle consistent. I'm not really turning the knife so much. I'm just coming through at a nice curve because we want to match the curvature. So everybody's technique is a little different. Some people will come in straight and do sections as they come down. I tend to do at a 40, like an angle, and then try to make it one. Again, the idea that it's just like a, a round curve as it goes through, it's just like a, a electric slicer. So the finished edge, again, this is not about being a laser for sure, but it's definitely shiny, smooth. The idea is that you got to come in and slice through. It strikes, of course, straight down as well, but that's the way it works. Hi, guys. I just want to thank you for watching our videos. And hopefully you will like and subscribe as every channel asks you to uh, so we can get more of these videos going and hopefully keep you entertained and with all of your fingers and toes. Uh, again, thanks for watching.